What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It is a brand new year and it's time for a brand new set of videos. I got some great news from JMBB Parts. They got me the right compression valve so we can fix the Chao engine. But we're not gonna do that today because I have a lot of parts right here that I ordered. And what is gonna happen when I install that decompression valve? I'm gonna lose track of all these parts. I'm not gonna use them. I done this before because I got something new and worked on that. So I want to start this year good and use the parts that I already have. So I ordered some parts for the pocket bike and what I ordered was a carb rebuild kit for a different carb, not this one. And I ordered a fuel tab. Now the old carb came with a integrated fuel tab in the carburetor. This one doesn't because it's a Chao carburetor. So I have to install a fuel tab, maybe here or whatever. I don't know yet. I'm gonna have to pull off the plastics. I got some scrap metal to make my whole bracket, make it easy and accessible, make it function good. So that is what I'm gonna do today. As I told you guys before, I'm not doing like tutorial style videos anymore. I did that in the future and it's really annoying because say for example, I say how to install a fuel valve. Well, you install the fuel valve, hey, that's the end of the video. No, I wanna do other stuff as well, not complete every single thing that I do. I just want to keep the work going. So first up, I'm gonna have to clean it up. Now I was thinking about making the pocket bike without these plastics on there. It looks pretty good. I have to remount the seat and whatever. Should be easier to mount stuff and do modifications. But for now, I'm just gonna install this fuel valve, maybe right here. It's, a, it's at an awful angle. I wish it would go straight, but it goes sideways. So I'm gonna have to do something like this or whatever, but it's gonna be an awkward angle with the carp or later on with the carp what we got to do with it but i'm gonna see i'm gonna pull off the plastics the fuel tank uh, the carburetor to make it bare bone almost bare bone maybe leave the engine in it or maybe take it out and i'm gonna try to find a good spot for this fuel tank So the bike is stripped down now and we know where we want this fuel tap to go. I'm going to put it right here. So the fuel line can pass between this corner. Might have to do it like this, maybe like this. I don't know, at an angle. But first now I'm going to have to make a bracket out of this. I'm going to disassemble this fuel tap. I'm going to take this plate, put it on there, trace it over so I can cut the shape like this and then it will fit in there. It doesn't move around. If I just made a hole like this, turn the fuel tap, it could slip around and, and yeah, that wouldn't be good. So I'm just going to make a shape like this and then drill a hole and then cut this the way it needs to be to fit on the bike. So I'm just gonna do that and I'll see you guys in a minute. So I finished up the bracket. It looks like this one bolt and it's pretty secure. If I move the tap, it doesn't move around. So that is good. Now comes the placement. First initial thought was here, but then I run into an issue right here when I want to open the valve so it doesn't seems to go here. So I'm gonna put it way back here. It may be a little bit awkward connecting the fuel line to the carburetor, but it should work out fine. I'm now gonna remove the exhaust, the gas tank, clean up the two parts and then just tack it on, see how it is, see how it connects. And then we can finish it off. And then we have a working fuel tap on our bike.
and just like that the bracket is on there and look at that weld looks pretty clean to me i thought i was gonna have a little issue removing the fuel tap but i got it out so i can put it back in it looks pretty nice now i'm gonna wait till this cools off install the fuel tank again get the fuel line in there and yeah then we have a fuel tap finally So everything is back on the bike now, ready to start. We got our fuel tap. I know the fuel line looks a little bit funky, but remember we have to relocate the carburetor. That's all gonna be in another video. Looks pretty clean. Finally, we have a fuel tap and it should work. Hopefully it doesn't leak. Now let's try it out. That should be enough. Now let's see if it works. If you pull this fuel line, nothing should come out. And if I open it, yeah, fuel comes out. So let's open it up, put in some brake cleaner because I don't have a choke. So the bike doesn't run right now, but I know what the issue is. The issues are with the carburetor that's on here right now. It's a 12.7 carb. I got a different one from another Chao. It's a 12.10, I think, but I have to clean that up, get the new seals in there, get it on the bike, and then we can try it out. I think the bike is running too rich for the amount of air that's going into it. It's a very small air hole with a 12.7 carburetor. So we're gonna enlarge that because with the 13.13 carburetor, the bike works, the bike runs, we can ride it, we can do whatever. I think this carburetor isn't jetted right and I don't have the correct jets or smaller jets to get in there and I don't want to buy any more jets because I have enough jets for the Chao build already. But yeah, finally a fuel tap. I'm very happy about that. Now I can take off the carb and don't need to drain the tank. So that is a very good thing. And also we used up a part that we bought. So we are cleaning up the pile. We're cleaning up the new parts pile so we can move on to the next step the goal this year is finish everything use everything we got i have so many new parts and i don't even use them or i don't find the time to use them also i told you that maybe i want to make this into a naked bike that means i have to remove these plastics but i just want to see how that looks maybe it looks so awkward that i don't like it so what i'm gonna do I'm gonna remove the seat from the plastics and just put it on there and see how it looks. If it looks wonky, I'm not gonna do it. But if it looks good, I'm gonna have to do some more welding, weld some brackets. Also, I'm gonna do some customization with the end piece of this exhaust, the end tip. It looks really bad. So we have a lot of work still on this bike and because it's so small, it's easy to work on. So the seat should pop off. There's still old wrapping plastic. And now let's see. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. This looks pretty nice. All the silver things, you can see everything looks pretty good. Maybe with a flashier paint job on the frame, just the frame with the seat. Get some different exhaust here. Remove these brackets right here. Make it look all clean. Yeah, I think that could work. I mean, if we can make the seat sit like this, that looks pretty good. What I like about this is that you can see everything. I'm a mechanic, I want to see everything. I don't want to see shrouds or whatever. It kind of bolts up. If I can remove this bracket, slide it over here. Make a new one over here because this holds in the fuel tank. I'm gonna have to put in some sliding holes to 
do that maybe later on we can put in a new fuel tank maybe make this out of metal build our own fuel tank but yeah i'm kind of digging it it looks decent enough of course from a downwards angle it's not that pretty maybe with a flasher paint job on the frame i don't know yeah who knows what i'm gonna do i mean if you could choose man, it looks good but it's just meh it's just yeah you can see nothing i don't know who knows so that's gonna be it for this video the first video of the year pretty happy with what i accomplished used up a new part get that new parts pile down and yeah we can start on some new stuff so that is going to be it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and a comment down below follow me on facebook twitter and on instagram and if you're not already subscribed yet subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one Get down!